One of the ways that we use inequalities is when we want to set a maximum or minimum value for some quantity and see what values of another quantity might be appropriate. So for example, say Shane's cell phone plan charges a $15 monthly fee plus five cents per text message. Shane wants to be sure he doesn't spend more than $30 this month. Write an inequality showing the number of text messages he can send. Okay, so how would we attack a problem like this? I think the first thing we need to do is figure out what inequality we need. And then after that, we'll write the expressions that we actually need in the inequality. So how do we go about that? Reading through the story, the thing that's being limited is the amount Shane spends on his cell phone. And specifically, he wants to not spend more than some amount. That means the amount that he spends is less than or equal to some amount. How much? $30. The amount Shane spends on his cell phone, then, is less than or equal to $30. Two, we'll write the expression that we need. So, the 30 was easy. We need to write an expression for the amount that Shane spends on his phone. So, his phone plan charges. $15 monthly plus five cents per text message. Oh, and we're interested in the number of text messages. I'm going to say T equals the number of text messages that Shane sends. It looks like that then five cents per text message is going to be a rate of change with a starting amount of fifteen dollars. So the amount Shane spends is he starts with fifteen dollars and then adds point oh five dollars for every text message. Now all that's left is the algebra. We put our expression into the inequality we wrote in step one. Fifteen plus zero point zero five t is less than or equal to thirty. And then we solve. So let's see what do we need? We'll subtract 15 from both sides, 0.05t, less than or equal to 15. We'll divide both sides by 0 0.05, and we're left with t is less than or equal to, that division sounds like a job for a calculator. Three hundred. So Shane can send at most 300 text messages this month and still be within his budget. Let's see another example. Suppose a store sells a certain jacket at a regular price of $80. Their agreement with the manufacturer says they must always charge more than $60 for the jacket. What's the maximum discount that they can offer? The inequality that we need is they must always charge more than $60 for the jacket. So something has to be more than $60. What? 
what they charge has to be more than $60. Then, what do they charge? Hmm. Well, we're thinking about a discount. So if they're offering a discount, right, what they charge, that's the discounted price. Here it says, what is the discount? Discounts are an example of percent change. The percent change is what we're looking for. The starting value, we're told, is $80. The discounted price, then, is 1 plus the percent change we're looking for times 80. Putting that together, then, 1 plus P times 80 is greater than 60. OK, now what? There are more than one way to solve this. But one way is we'll distribute. So we'll have 80 plus 80p greater than 60. We'll subtract 80 from both sides. 80p is greater than negative 20. We'll divide both sides by 80. 80 is positive, so we don't need to reverse the inequality. We'll get p is greater than negative 0 0.25. So in the context of our story, then, we have to think a little bit. p is greater than negative 25%. Right, we want it as a percent in our story. The story is asking us for the maximum discount. But here we got P is greater than. What's going on? Well, remember, the discount that's a negative change we can't have anything that's more negative than 25%. In words, we would say the maximum discount is 25% off. And what we're thinking is bigger discounts, like 30% off, represent numbers that are more negative. So for example, if we put negative 30% in for P, the inequality would be false.